Right, got hurry up and make this video. I was going to make it yesterday, but then I couldn't be bothered, and um, so I got to get it up tonight because it's up. It's today, and it's tonight, and and the bloody kit pans on in the background, and that's making a bloody racket. So, I'll show you some pictures. Coincidentally, I found that this postcard that we got up in London about a month ago. Coincidentally, lost it and then found it the day before this is a thing. So that what you can see now. Is Nataraja and that is when Shiva is the cosmic dancer and every month um, just before the new moon uh, Hindus like celebrate Shiva as Nataraja doing one of his dances okay but once a year and it's tonight today they stay up all night and they fast in all day and all that um, it is the, the most important one. It is um, the great night of Shiva. Um, it's a new moon tomorrow. And so they do it They do it for the new moon. It's when the moon's at its darkest. And some people say it was because that's when, you know, the sun and the moon got together. So that's when Shiva married his wife, blah, 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 blah. So every month it's a massive sh Shiva Rati. But the one that is tonight, the most important one, is a Maha Shivarati, M-A-H-A. And it marks overcoming darkness and ignorance because if you have a look at that statue, he's standing on a little dude who is called Aspara... What's his name? Oh, I've got... Let me look it up because he's called something. Uh, he's standing on him. As Apsamara. And he represents Tamas, and that means darkness. So basically, that little dude that Shiva's standing on was trying to stop him dancing and that, and so he just stood on him, and he represents ignorance and nonsensical speech. So the thing is, if Shiva stops dancing, then the world stops stops turning, uh, you know, everything stops. So basically, it's, the, the, the you know, the cosmic dance of the universe and he's got a drum in his hand and that's the frequencies. And, you know, they're only just beginning to realise now, aren't they, in quantum physics, all the stuff that basically is encapsulated in Shiva about how the bloody cosmos works anyway. So his drum vibrates as he dances and that represents energy, frequency and matter, etc. But he stood on this little dude... And the thing is, he wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill ignorance and nonsensical speech and, 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 and you know, nonsense. He wanted to kill it. But then he realised, well, I can't kill it because then knowledge becomes um, not as important, not as... Uh, what's the word, Mark, I'm looking for? So, oh, hold on. Without ignorance, all knowledge would be attainable and worthless. So he is kept alive, but under the foot or control of Shiva. So he's he, he lives for as long as Shiva does, basically. Um, because, and I think that speaks of cognitive dissonance, which a lot of people go through. And I think that's a healthy thing. You've got to hold two beliefs, really, in your head and have a little fight about it before you change, which, change your mind or stick to your original belief. So... Um, that's what he's doing. And I think that's really important tonight. This, like, if we send all our energy to this, it's really, really quite an important... And the Schumann residence is really high as well, apparently, I've seen today. The Schumann residence is re re resonance is really high. And there is one of those... Um, I can't remember what they're called. What is it? Hawaii something or another where there's two um hurricanes in the sea at the same time and they sort of come together and one sort of goes around the other and then is sort of like absorbed into the other and if you look at it it looks like a yin yang but so that's going on the human residence is really high and it's the new moon and it is the maha shivarati so it's all very tonight just like focus your energy on you know getting rid of in ignorance and nonsensical speech and just if I was you, my favourite, I've been looking at this. So if you look at Tandav Dance, T-A-N-D-A-V, by Sunny Siani Chakrabarti. So S-A-Y-A-N-I, then C-H-A-K-R-A-B-O-R-T-Y. She does an absolutely freaking amazing sort of version of... Um, 
Shiva's one of Shiva's dances. It's so moving. So anyway, so that's tonight, and I was going to do. I've got all my notes written down. I was going to do a really, really good, um, good video on this, but then I realised I'm running out of bloody time. It'd be bloody too late soon. So that's that. But yeah, look into it. Maha Shivarati tonight.